It usually takes a while for a new president to score a big victory on Capitol Hill, but President Obama managed to do it in a month winning passage of his $787 billion stimulus package. The president signed it into law in a ceremony in Denver. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Plan represents a strategic and significant investment in our country's future. The size and scale of this plan demand unprecedented efforts to root out waste, inefficiency, and unnecessary spending. Recovery.gov will be the online portal for these efforts, publishing information about how the funding secured by the legislation will be spent in a timely, targeted, and transparent manner. The impact of the stimulus package on the economy is uncertain. Senior White House advisors tell me that many of the provisions will take a while to percolate through the economy, but some will have an immediate effect, helping everyday Americans who are down on their luck, such as by adding money to take-home pay, as withholding is reduced because of new tax breaks, extending unemployment benefits for the jobless, and enabling more people who have been laid off to keep their health insurance. Beyond that, the broad impact on the troubled economy remains to be seen. But the political impact is very clear. Obama has had one of the most successful debuts as president since Franklin Roosevelt in 1933 and Lyndon Johnson in 1963. He has demonstrated very quickly that he knows how to operate the levers of power in Washington. The GOP, meanwhile, is coming across as the curmudgeon party, grumpy middle-aged men who lack new ideas and are resentful of their opponent's success. A recent Saturday Night Live skit captured that image. Pelosi says the Democratic House and Senate members want to work out their version of the bill and then show it to us for our input. So basically, we're being cut out. Looks that way. <laughs> what all this means is that Obama has more of a chance to advance his agenda than his critics imagined. His missteps on personnel matters, such as his messy appointment process for the Secretary of Health and Human Services and for Commerce Secretary, are part of the daily chatter on the cable news networks, but most Americans don't seem very interested. They are much more focused on keeping their jobs and their homes and their retirement savings, and they want Washington to act decisively. So far, Obama understands this better than his critics do. For U.S. News & World Report, I'm Ken Walsh.